This is Pastor Kent, and this is Heaven Elohim Temple. And this morning, we're looking at bat brain washing. What exactly do I mean by brainwashing? And what exactly does that entail? Well, we're going to look at that in the depth this morning on what brainwashing is. What exactly do I mean by brainwashing? Um, brainwashing is a non-specific content that a human being can be alterated and controlled by if they did. However, too familiar with mind-altering methods as those of the uh, communists in exploring wherever worlds they want, beginning in 1953 with Robert J. Lifton, interviewed as an American serviceman who had been in POW camps. March 20th, 19, er, 2015, we familiarize their saying, you can win a battle, but lose the war. What about the idea you can win a war, but lose your own society? Particularly, the biblical translations into the old English people can be tracked back to the seventh old century. in Old English. Thus, the sense of the Bible has been that often exists and did not exist at that time. Um, the brainwashing that started. The title of the brainwash, the message is brainwashing, yay or nay. And I use Old English for a reason and I will explain that later on. Ebba, thank you for being here with us. Bless, guide, strengthen, and keep us in all that we say, in all that we do. May you prick spirits and unhardened hearts through this message. In Yeshua's name, I pray. Yaman. The biblical, or sorry, uh, the uh, Webster's Dictionary defines brainwashing as this. Adopt radical different beliefs by using systematic and often forcible pressure, the organization brainwashed young people. Um, am I brainwashed and how can I tell? Why do you not judge also yourself in the righteous? Luke 12 verse 57. Your time is limited, so don't waste in living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of someone else's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most importantly, have the courage to follow your heart and intervention. That is a quote by Steve Jobs. Definition. A brainwashed person 
judges every matter according to his acceptable idealization and judges no more according to his own mind or his own or their own consequences as they caused questioning the idealization of the accepted it is an indolerated and ideological phenomenon a person is brainwashed in respect of an idea or idolization if they refuse to consider any arguments against it however the spiritual man examines need for all things so you see that um, in the Bible including whether or not it is a God by himself is not existent by man he is not sitting at an entrance exam set by men God is his examiner second corinthians 2 out of the nwt new world translation examples of brainwashing groups i won't get into the particulars of this but i will tell you some of them suicide bomber jehovah witnesses Fascist Communist Party member. Fascist Communist member. This is talking about left and white, right, ring, winged radicals, which are in the States. And we have them in Canada, too. The characteristics of brainwashing. Mental dependency, physiological addiction, mental imprisonment I threw away the conscience ha is handing over the decision make in an area having unquestioning absolute abstinence of one source or unquestioning absolute rejection from other sources being accepted by the brainwash for the purpose which is not in our interest believing that those not brainwashed are wicked demonic and dominized communist fascist terrorist, hell fetid, hell feeded, believing that those are brainwashed are glorious and elite, believing that people in the brainwashed fold have a high status of some type of people, not that the fold have correspondingly lower stats, in fact, the brainwashing creates a false type of inter status for its victim and uses its replace as general acceptable national or, or sorry external statutes yardsticks or, or non brainwashed people believing that those who have escaped the brainwashing are unhinged and expectational dangerously having no time to consider whether or not you are brainwashed due to a very time consuming obligations from the brainwasher not making judgments yourself but accepting all judgments from the brainwashed source wearing idolization colored glasses 
or rose-colored glasses, in other words, all day and night. So, what other groups am I talking about that are brainwashed? Well, we're going to look at that right now. And here we go. There are directive and parental that the type of high-level brainwashers or HLBs, these parents are ruthless in their efforts to extreme their ex from the child's life. Woe to an ex did liberate and ever damage a great name immigrate and being everything possible to deny the physical acceptance of their child. So that's another form of brainwashing. A list of brainwashed uh, things that uh, I can tell you about is very simple. Um, hang on. I apologize for that, but sometimes when you gotta go, you gotta go. So, what are the characteristics of brainwashing? It's the last thing we looked at. Now, here are the stages of brainwashing. This is how they do it. Um, one, they show you their idolization article in the quickency or independent character of uh, physicians or functions in accordance or in security. Um, offer what appears to be a better idol or new idolization which is represented to be the cure to the inadequacy of, or inner security. 
Jehovah Witnesses for one, um, Scientology, the Church of uh, Rome, Catholic Church, the um, uh, Scientology, uh, this woman on the internet that offers this go-go juice, okay, that plans to cure everything. Uh, it, it's all garbly goop. It, it's false teachings and false prophets, okay? Cut them off from other comparable cures. So in other words, they cut society off from you by convincing them that their idolization is the only cure. Uh, pursue the, uh, them with other idolization, idolizationers. Uh, do not care. Uh, they lie to you. Uh, they continually tell you the same thing. Together they say, you cannot live without this. And nobody else has this. So they lie to you straight from the get-go. You can now start exploring them. Uh, and they give you the sites to go and see what they're talking about. They don't let you go on the internet. Uh, the sites on the internet are locked out. The only sites you can get on is their sites. Um, maintain the dependency of reinforced the lie and by keeping new ideologic, ideological can they remain cured with everyone else is still infected. So, those are the stages. These are the brainwashing tools they use. Control, freak brainwashing, maintenance, constantly barrage you with the same thing. Okay? Fundamental description bringing in and maintenance so they bring in false people that actually say this and are paid to say this uh, location through blocking they usually cut you off from the outside so you can't phone you can't call uh, another form of this is uh, Mennonites and uh, the churches that allow you to marry more than one person. That is so against God's ordinances, it's not funny. Uh, stats of brainwashing. So the stats of what they believe. And they have these documentations proved. It's signed by lawyers and everything else. Um, a pack of brainwashing. So they give you the stuff. And you read it, your brain reads it and starts thinking, hmm, could it be? Could it be? Okay, so now you start questioning. Okay, maybe I am brainwashed. How do I escape? First, blindly accept the total that their doctrine is not of God. Um, sorry, can't change this one. So, second, you make a plan to get out. You call a friend that you trust, okay, and tell them what you're planning and have them meet up with you, okay? There are people out there who help people get out of polygamy, 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 and we here at Heaven's Gateway Chosen Ones Ministry and Heaven Elohim Temple are all about this. So anyone in Canada, I can deal with it, okay? I can help you get out. Okay, I will help you get out of the situation and I will show you how I got from mine to where I am today. 
Um, thirdly, remember, you're going to flip back into this brainwash thing and second guess yourself. Don't do that. Okay? Um, that that's that's not a good thing okay if you start going back there talk to your friend uh, talk to the other people uh, Matthew 24 says let the man on his housetop not come down to take the goods out of his house and let the man in the field return to the house and help you so don't do it alone okay um, no one can be an idolater of God but you can be an idolater of God's word idolater means very simply um, you're worshiping something else okay other than God so if you're doing that you ought not to be doing this okay if you put anything above God that's the wrong thing to do okay if anybody is stating that they are above God and um, that you know uh, they know better well run far and fast so how do we do that? Um, it's very simple. Okay. And for that, we go to Second Kings. Sorry, First Kings and chapter 9, verses 1 to 9. And Sim, Sam, Sim, Solomon completed the house of Jehovah. We can be your out and the king's house and all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of Jehovah and his own house he did prosper so anybody who comes to this ministry will prosper and be able to grow in the Messiah then Jehovah appeared to Simon by night and said to him, I have heard thy prayer. I will have the chosen for myself this place for a house of sacrifice. If I shut up the heavens that there be no rain or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I said, send pestilence among my people, my people who are called by my name, humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land this right here this this 
Heal their land. Heal it. Take it away. Throw it away. Make the old man gone, the new man come. Now mine eyes shall be opened, and my ears affected to the prayer in this place. For I have now chosen a hollowed house, your house, that my name be there forever, and my eyes and my heart shall be there perfectation. And thee, if thou wilt walk before me as David thy father walked, to do according to all that I have commanded thee, and will come to my statutes and my ordinances, then I will establish the throne of my kingdom according to as I have commanded with David my father, saying, There shall be not sail thee a man to rule over Israel. So now he's giving us the power to rule over as he did Noah and rule over the things of this earth. But if you turn away and forsake my statutes I will resent and go back on what he has said so make no mistake that if we fail him um, he will take care of us. So how do we do that? Very simple. Say the sinner's prayer. L, I know I'm a sinner and I'm sorry for the sins I've committed. I know my sins put a distance between me and you. I know I cannot save myself only your son, Yeshua, Yeshua, can save me and eliminate the distance between us. I believe he is your son, and he died on the executioner's stake for my namesake and rose from the dead. I now receive him as my personal Lord and Savior and accept your offer for forgiveness and everlasting life. Thank you, Abba. In Yeshua, Yeshua's name, I pray. Amen. Perhaps you are uncertain about the salvation through Yeshua, but he promised in El's, with El's help to anyone who seeks to know the truth in John 7, for chapter 7 verse 17 says he said if anyone chooses to do El's will he will find out whether my teaching comes from El or whether I speak of my own Yeshua offers himself as a gift to anyone who trusts him We pray right now you come to trust him soon. Please do let us know how we can help in your search for truth. There's two things that you have to do now. Um, 
the first thing is you need to take a moment and publicly acknowledge him and what you've done. Um, by praying the prayer of salvation. And I ask right now that if you did this, that you call us or let me know on Facebook and you can notify us anytime. Um, notify me anytime on Facebook. My link uh, is on this uh, page and you can find me there at most times. Okay, sometimes even I have to sleep. Okay, but I'm here for you. Abba, thank you for being here with us and for those that accepted Yeshua, Yeshua as their Lord and Savior. And I ask them right now that thou might give them the courage to come forth and edify you by saying now what they've done. And we say these things in Yeshua's name. Yamen.